Morning guys, it's Tuesday today and um, I don't have to be at work another day, uh, actually the next couple of weeks uh, the students have got different bits and pieces going on so I actually don't have to be at work um, a lot which is good because I have other bits and pieces to be getting on with. Uh, the work I had to do last night that's due today, I did do, hurrah, um, I didn't finish it but I did most of it so I'm just about to batter on for the next kind of hour and get that done. Today I am wearing a um, dressing gown as opposed to a onesie and I'll let you in on a little secret. Um, Sonia and I went with my mum and my sister uh, a good few years ago now to um, Disney and um, we took my little niece Brooke who's going to be here at the weekend and you get to meet her. She is a star. These are stolen from the Disney Hotel. Took, we each took one away in our suitcases. It's one in the afternoon, so it's lunchtime. Um, I don't want to sit in the house. I've only got like pasta and stuff, so I'm going to go out again and see what I fancy eating. I really fancy chicken. It's actually pretty nice today, but I really don't think I'm going to be able to get away with no... Um, with no jacket at all so I'm gonna have to wear a jacket but at least it's nice outside all right so I forgot it was the May weekend and that meant that the schools were off Monday and Tuesday and Edinburgh is hoaching it's a nightmare uh, it's fine but look oh can you see it from here you probably can't see it behind me but there are people everywhere it's a nightmare um, <laughs> I don't have anything against people but you know it's so loud and so noisy. Anyway, well, I actually have no major issue with graffiti. Um, I think it can look really cool and quite artistic. What I do have a problem with is scrawls, inane scrawls in, in the name of, basically in the name of vandalism. Um, Erin actually treated me to a graffiti masterclass for my birthday last year and it was great fun. And like in the space of 30 minutes an hour, we were both able to do like reasonably dec decent pieces of artwork. Um, so I don't understand why people feel it necessary to just vandalise and randomly scroll. Sound like a proper grump today, but another realisation of a bugbear of mine that I've had, which is probably not a conversation I should be having to you from a church graveyard. Um, I'm just on my way to the shops and it's the shortcut to go through. Um, it's blokes that insist on wearing loose materialed trousers with nothing on underneath. And how do I know? Because I live in Scotland and it's windy. And when wind blows against soft material trousers, there's a very distinctive outline. And that was a far less productive day out than yesterday, but, oh, not yesterday, Sunday, but that's okay, you know. I went for a little walk, uh, saw a little bit of really rubbish graffiti, which I spoke about. Uh, did a bit of shopping, so now I'm going to make myself some lunch. So, this is my sexuality related rant. Yesterday, uh, in the House of Commons, uh, the former uh, Defence Minister, uh, Sir Gerald Haworth, um, said, warned against the increasingly aggressive gay community um, and that uh, gay people fundamentally are going beyond trying to to achieve equality and, and looking for something else. Not that he had the guts to come forward and say what these other mythical things that we're looking for are, but basically scaremongering once again. I don't want to get married. And to be completely honest, even if I meet the perfect person for me, I don't really want marriage. That's my personal belief. But I think it's still ludicrous that in this day and age, with everything that's, that is wrong with the world, there are children in Africa starving. There are people dying of diseases that we could fix if we had the money. There are people still living uneducated because there are not enough quality teachers or schools. There are so many issues in this world. Give over, stop being so back-ass crazy and just accept that people love each other and they should be able to show it equally. 
If a man and woman have the right to get married, then so should a man and a man, and so should a woman and a woman, regardless of what your personal beliefs are. Also, there was an excellent, I have to find it, there was an excellent retort by a member of the New Zealand Parliament. And if any of you guys can go and find this, um, it's on YouTube and it's called Marriage and Definition of Marriage Amendment Bill, Third Reading, Part 2. Not exactly the most exciting of titles, but this member of the New Zealand Parliament delivers the defence for gay marriage equality rights perfectly with such genius comedy and such light-heartedness but still with complete validity of point that I think it's well worth everybody going and finding out. Gay people aren't here to ruin your lives. We're not here to steal husbands away from wives or wives away from husbands. We're not here to stop you loving your children or stop your children loving you. We're here to live our life the same as everybody else. Get over it. I've had my dinner, I've just finished watching season one of Game of Thrones. I told you, obsessed, ten episodes in like three days, like I have nothing else to do. And I have to admit, the dragons are really cute. I think if I wanted to be uh, on any of the sides, I'd want to be with the dragons. Little dragony lizardy things, how cute. Mm. I quite like shopping at Lidl. Um, it's a very European store because it's from Europe. And it's cheap. In Britain it's really, really cheap compared to everything else. They have these crisps uh, called um, uh, Krusty Crocs. Um, and they have all different types of Krusty Crocs. These are awesome. If you like cheese and onion flavoured crisps, these things are the absolute bomb and you need to get them because they are just amazing. The only problem with them is, much like the Ikea cookies and Pringles, once you pop you can't stop. No, seriously, once you start eating these things it's impossible to put the bloody things down. Look, there's the tail. What a lunatic! Hey Robson, what you doing? So I've had a really good, um, I've had a really good day today and that's me just heading off to bed um, and tomorrow night I'm going for a meal with all the people from Seabasket and the people that were involved in launch which should be fun so I will, but we can speak about that tomorrow anyway, I'm off to my bed now to sleep, night.